Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into something exciting. How to use Perplexity Latest API, Sona, um, to supercharge your lead generation AI agent on Google Maps. Whether you are a developer, a business owner, or just someone curious about um, AI agents, uh, this video is going to be helpful to you. Today, Perplexity has just publicly announced their API called Sona, and there are Sona and Sona Pro. So what's the big deal about Perplexity Sona API? Um, well, Sona is designed to give you real-time and web-connected search capabilities. And this means that you can pull the most up-to-date information from trusted sources, making it perfect for tasks like um, lead generation. For the capability, um, Sona Pro outperformed leading search engines and LLMs in terms of answer quality um, in recent simple QA benchmark findings. Okay, now imagine this. You can talk to the AI agent uh, in ending end workflow here and then ask it to scrap contact details from Google Map, for example, first three pages of fitness centers in New York, instead of manually going into each website to search for the emails and company backgrounds, you can use Sona from Perplexity to automate the process. Okay, let's get started. Let's do our quick demo first. Um, this one is our AI agent. Uh, these are the workflows. And this is the Google Sheets that is going to store all the relevant uh, information here. Okay, so let's talk to the agent first. Can you get uh, me the uh, contact details of fitness centers in the US? Uh, just the first page of Google Maps. Okay, let's wait for a bit. Great, we get the name, address, website, rating, opening hours, and phone here. And then what we need to do next, let's wait for the chat windows done. Great, all the answers are collected. And then uh, these are the leads. We have the UUID, name, address, website, rating, opening hours, phone. How about the email and background? So we are going to use um, the Perplexity API called Sona to help us to do that. So let's deactivate this and let's turn this back on and click Test Workflow. So it's loading. Great, we are getting getting the emails and also the background, company background. It's good for us to do uh, personalization for outreach because uh, once we know more about the company background, uh, it will be better for us um, uh, to show that we have done our homework before outreaching them. So this uh, AI agent can help us to um, do all the homework um, with the Sona API of perplexity. Grip is working. Great, it's completed. So um, this is a quick demo. Um, let's dive into the details. Okay, before we start on diving into the details of the um, NN workflow, um, let's talk about what we need to prepare first. So we need to uh, have serper.dev um, for uh, using the Google Map API. And then we'll have uh, Sonar API for using the Perplexity AI. So let's go through how we can set up the credentials first. First of all, um, serper.dev. We can just um, sign, sign up for free. And then we can just get the API key here. And what we can do. We can um, paste the API key here. 
So we will have a header parameter using X uh, hyphen API X key and then paste the API key in the value below. So I'm not going to show the API key here. You can just paste your own one here. And then the second one will be the perplexity API, which is Sona. First of all, we are going to uh, set a header off here. We can search header off here. And then uh, you can rename it as perplexity. And we put authorization. So you can see authorization. And remember to add bearer space and your API token. And how we can get the API token uh, after you sign up uh, on perplexity team. Um, and then you can go to settings and then go to API. After you set up your payment, you have your API key. And then you can just copy and paste your API key uh, with bearer and space. And then you can paste it here and then it will be working. So this are the setup for the credentials. After talking about the credential setup, let's dive into our um, AI agents workflow setup on NXM. So there are mainly three workflows. The first one is the AI agent workflow for uh, lead generation. So basically, uh, we have the trigger to listen for the chat message. Uh, basically, you can set the check trigger um, to any other uh, message trigger like uh, Telegram or WhatsApp, etc. So for demo purpose, we are just using this as a trigger. And then we use OpenAI to interpret the query and use um, Google Map API for business uh, details. So we are using this tool for this purpose. And then we are going to extract the data like the name, address, website, rating, hours, email, phone, and store into the Google Sheets using this tool. And then for the second workflow, which is to store data uh, to the Google Sheets. Um, first of all, we have uh, the uh, execute the trigger, workflow trigger, which is um, linked to this one. So once the AI agent is using this tool, it will trigger this workflow here. And it will process the content, um, processes, um, and structures the incoming data. Uh, Google Sheets will be integrated, and then the uh, data will be uh, uh, input into the Sheets. And it will return uh, confirmations or response for the last node. And for the third workflow, uh, it is to get the company email and background from perplexity using the Sonar API. First of all, we have the Google Sheets trigger to detect new roles or updated roles. And then the filter, uh, we will select the relevant entries for processing loop of items um, to make sure it iterates through each filtered entry. And then we are going to use perplexity uh, API call using the Sonar API to retrieve company emails and, and the company details. And then uh, we are going to convert the data into JSON and so that we can update the Google Sheets uh, easier. Okay, great. It's time to dive into each node uh, one by one for all different workflows. The first one is the AI agent team. Um, we use the tool agent and the, for the problem we take from previous nodes automatically. And then for the system message, Let's take a look at this. You are a research agent helping users to find the content information from Google Map, Map Searcher or website. After searching, you should structure the output for human readable list. After searching, you put your results to store to um, Google Sheets, which is a tool. You, when you call this tool, you must be in this JSON format in a single call. So this is a JSON format. If you loop over multiple pages, you should call store to Google Sheets each time after Map Searcher so that we can keep storing without aggregate. So uh, you can just copy and paste this um, system message. As for the um, max iteration, you can adjust your number here. For demo purpose, we just set it as 10. Um, because when we need to um, get more pages, for example, when we would like to get uh, 10 pages from Google um, Map, uh, we need more iterations. Then 10 is not enough. So you can um, change the number here, for example, 100, etc. As for the OpenAI chat, we use it as the uh, model. Uh, we use GPT-4 or Mini. Uh, you can use for, uh, for all or other model. You can even use DeepSeek 
uh, for the um, uh, model as well, for chat model. And then um, basically we don't really need the memory here, so we activate for window buffer memory. Um, but we need this map searcher, the Google map searcher. For the description, uh, this bot helps you to scrap all contact information for lead gen from Google map input query Q for search input, LL for um, uh, lat lang, and page is for uh, the current page and for LL please follow coordinates in this format. All right. And we use the get method. URL, we use Google uh, server.dev slash maps. No uh, authentication, we use none. Uh, enable send query parameters. Uh, specific, specified query parameters, we use uh, we choose using fields below. Query parameters, we choose Q uh, by model, uh, name, LL uh, by model, page by model. And then uh, enable send header. Specify header using fields below, and um, for the header parameters, this one is X hyphen API hyphen key. Uh, I'm not going to show our API key here, um, so uh, you can just copy and paste your own API key here. And then we need to set up this tool. Uh, this tool is linked to this workflow. So let's take a look at that. The name is to store to Google Sheets, and the description. This is a tool to parse the input and store the to Google Sheets columns, including this name, address, website, rating, opening hours, emails, phone. Um, source database, uh, workflow. Uh, we are just linking to the specific workflow down below. Uh, field to return response. Response, this one. The workflow ID is referring to this one. All right. So for this note, we parse the content. Basically, you can copy and paste this um, uh, code for the JavaScript to parse the data. And then uh, we are going to use this Google Sheets, Append Sheets note. Uh, just link it to your own Google Sheets and connect with your own resources, uh, sheets within documents, append row um, from list your own Google list, uh, Google uh, Sheets, and then choose the sheet you want. For this one, we can choose our map automatically. Last but not least, we can return response here. Return JSON response, okay. Okay, after talking about the first two workflows, uh, now we will have on Google Sheet, the UID name, address, website, rating, opening hours, phone, uh, but not for email and background yet. So we need to run the third workflow, which is to get company email and background, company background from the Perplexity API called Sona. First of all, uh, we will use the Google Sheets trigger. Connect with your credentials, mode we choose every minute, and then for document, choose uh, your own Google Sheet. And then you can choose the sheets that you want, uh, trigger on row edit. And the, the important part here is to filter, um, add a filter here because um, we would like to avoid um, the capacity to scrap according to the header. So we just need to filter out. So that means um, just a name is not equal to name so that we can just avoid um, parsing this uh, row. Okay, so as you can see on the right hand side, um, it is, these are the outputs. All right. And then we have this loop uh, loop over items note to make sure that um, uh, it is um, going through each row, uh, each row one by one. The batch size, we set it as one. And another important part is here, um, we are adding the perplexity Sona API here. Again, uh, we use, uh, we add this uh, HTTP request, uh, and then you can just rename it in your own way. Uh, so we rename it, it's in perplexity get email and content num uh, con uh, and company um, details. Uh, background. Okay. 
Okay, for the method we choose post and for URL you can just copy this api.thaxity.ai slash chats uh, chat slash completions. Authentication, we choose generic credential type, header auth, um, propacity. After you set up your own header auth in the credential part, you will be able to choose from here. And then we enable send body, body content type JSON, specify body using JSON. Let's take a look at this. Um, so model, we use Sona message row system system message you are a research assistant retrieve data from a company and return it if a field does not exist return na for that field return json only without any other information as for the user message the content we get um, the email and company background for the json name this one this one and the json address this one we can drag and drop Restaurant's website, uh, this one, you can drag and drop this one as well. Um, and then for the rest, you can just copy and paste. All right. And then we're going to convert to JSON object here. You can just copy and paste uh, this uh, script as well. It's for converting into JSON object. Last but not least, we are going to update the Google Sheets. Again, connect with your own Google Sheet account. We source sheets, uh, sheets within a document. For the operation, we choose update row. Choose your own document, own sheet, your own sheets, and then um, map column mode, uh, uh, map each column manually. For the column to match on, we choose UUID here. The UUID, um, we can choose um, from the loop of our items here. You can just drag and drop here. And then email, we can just choose JSON data here. Just drag and drop this one. Background, just drag and drop this one. All right. So basically, uh, every notes are set and done. Okay, great. So basically, this is all the um, tutorial for this uh, AI agent setup. Um, basically, this is uh, version 2.0 um, for the AI agent for lead generations using Google Map and Perplexity Sona API. Uh, feel free to let me know uh, what you think about um, this solution and let me know um, in the comments if you tried Perplexity API before. Uh, I'd love to have your thoughts. See you in our next video.